questions over here? Um, any kids? Yeah. What about you? No kids. So this year I opted out on putting a tree topper on my tree and I wanted to add a cute bow. And I already knew this was going to be a challenge because how do you get a bow to stand up on a tree? And my friend Cadet actually made me this bow, but it needed a little bit more stuffing in order for it to stay up how I wanted it to. So it was a little flat at first and this definitely took some arts and craft. I had to pull out the scissors girl, extra fabric, just so I can mold this bow into what I wanted it to look like. And I actually stuffed the bow sleeves with a tree skirt that I had that I wasn't using this year because it was dingy. And as y'all can see, I updated my skirt to elevate my tree. So I just used that to fluff up the sleeves of the bow so it's more fluffy and full. And to close up the bow sleeves, I used some extra fabric that I wasn't using because I was actually going to do a mesh bow, but I decided to do the heavier fabric. So I used that to close up the sleeves by poking a hole and making a knot with the extra fabric. And then I used some of the extra fabric as well to wrap the middle part of the bow just to give it a more 3D-like effect so you could see it. Because initially when he made the bow, it was kind of small. So I wanted to really give that bow effect so you can see it. So I wrapped that around the middle area and then I put ornaments below the bows just so my bow sleeves could stick up right and this actually took way longer than what it appears to be on this video it took about two hours to keep playing around with the bow to get it how i wanted it to and it came out pretty cute for my first attempt um i'm not somebody that does a lot of arts and crafts but i am a creative so i didn't want to give up and i just kept going and this is what i came out with and i think it looks really cute and appealing and very christmassy to set off the vibes mm -hmm. 